Hello and hello friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make LUTs using DaVinci Resolve. LUTs are lookout tables, so they can be used either to correct a footage or to give a special look like they do in cinema when you have the teal and orange look and any kind of look you want. In this one, we're going to do correction ones. So I'm going to use first a clip with my GoPro at about six meter depth or so. Then I'm gonna use my A7R 3 very shallow as well. As you can see, we can see the surface on the shot. And finally, a shot with my A7R 3 as well, but a little bit deeper and with green color a little bit. The reason I picked those three shots is because they're quite common. With my GoPro, I normally shoot quite shallow, especially when I do introductions and things like this. So the result will always be pretty much the same. And then with my A7R 3 I was in conditions where I was not able to use lights or anything. So it's just the shot itself using the settings of the camera that I use normally. So after making those three LUTs, I will have them in a folder that I'm gonna call underwater. And then when I will want to correct my shot, I will be able to directly take it from my LUTs and see if it works. So in a few clicks, I will be able to correct my files right away. Okay, let's get started. So go first on the first one with the GoPro. So we go on color. I'm gonna spend a little time to correct it by using all of the corrections that we use normally. It will be a small reminder on how we can do color correction. And then after that, I'm gonna transform it into LUTs. So first I have two nodes already. So contrast and color. Contrast, what do we see here? We don't have dark enough and it's quite peaking here, especially on the blue and green. So we're gonna remove a little bit of gain like so. I could have also brought down the offset because like this, I will also bring the dark one at the same time. So now I can add probably a little bit of gain. So now I have a pretty contrasty shot and it's quite good. Color, it's a little bit too green and probably missing a little bit of red. So we can use those, but normally I prefer to use directly the RGB mixer. So bring up the reds, bring down the green a little bit, and I think it's quite okay. So now in a few clicks, I have pretty much what I wanted. So now what do I do to make LUTs? Very easy. I right click here on the sequence I do generate 3D LUTs and then I rename it so I can be um, GoPro 6 meters, enter. And now if I go on my underwater, I have my LUT that is here. Next shot, if I wanted to add this one, I could just see how it goes with it. Actually, it wouldn't be so bad. Would be a little bit dark, but better than it was before. But I'm gonna start from scratch. So first rename the node, node label, contrast. So this one is too dark for everything and we don't have enough width on the, on the cursor. So I'm going to probably add contrast. Here we go. And then I can bring the offset up a little. Remove some gain. And even get the lift down a little bit. So I think it's okay. Shift S to make another node, which is going to be color. So right click, lo node label, color. And then I can go, we can see here that we're missing red. So I can go directly on RGB, add red and remove 
little green and it's already much better let's see through the whole clip to see if it's okay it seems to be quite good nothing is peaking and nothing is too dark so that's quite okay same principle right click generate 3d LUT. this one is a7 r3 shallow enter here we go now i have my second LUT. and i i made a special folder that is called underwater so later on i will be able to use them in new projects final one so this one we can use probably so first we'll do contrast and luminosity once again so not enough width and uh, probably that's the first thing we can change okay rename the node contrast enter so what are we going to do on this one we're just going to increase the contrast and then we'll bring the gain actually offset up a little bit as well as gain here we go and then bring down the offset and the gamma as you can see we have much more width that we had before probably remove a little gain because it's a little bit too bright and the lift as well we can go down a little so control d to see how it was it was really flat and now we have much more contrast so now we can see that we have too much green so we're going to change the color shift s right click node label color enter i can go on here we see the main problem too much green not enough red so let's add some red you see the red is getting bigger remove a little green and we already have a much more pleasing tone you see we had some red here that couldn't be seen and the background was not okay so now we have this that is much much nicer even here we can see that the bottom of the menta which was supposed to be white is white so final one i right click on my thumbnail generate 3d LUT, and now i can do a 7r3 deep enter and i have my third LUT. one of the great advantage of this so now we're gonna go on edit and let's say i want to add one more clip for example this one menta face something i select it so you see it's all green and not so nice i go on color and i can right away select and this one if i can if i put right click apply that to current node and right away i can see that my shot is quite nice okay the conditions were quite the same so it is really easy in a few clicks to make something okay now i can still pause it go on color again and consider maybe it's like too much contrast well it's no problem i just go here remove a little bit contrast and then i have my shot it took me one second to put the lot on it and then one more to do the fine tuning and i have a shot that i like i hope you like this video if you did don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified and then we'll see you in the next one happy bubbles